So we're under the hood of the Chevelle today, and because we are going to be changing the valve springs this spring, we need to figure out which valve springs to buy. And to do that, we first need to figure out the install height of the valve. So to do that, we are going to be using this product here from Proform that I bought to remove the spring. And we're going to be using this product right here from Proform to measure the install height. And then we're going to be using the rope trick to actually keep the valves open. Um, and I'll explain that a little bit later, but uh, first thing we need to do is pull the valve cover and get this thing onto TDC on the compression stroke. So here we go. Okay, with the valve cover off, you can see what we got going on here. Um, I was mentioning the rope tr method for holding the valves up. So you shove uh, the nylon rope into the uh, spark plug hole. And then when you push the piston up to top dead center, it, it will hold the um, valve up so you can actually push your spring on. Now, this is harder than I thought. I first used 3 8 inch rope, and every single time I would push it up, it would not um, push against the valve. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Even this one's not perfect, but um, it, it'll do. So this is a quarter inch. I have probably five and a half feet of rope in there. And uh, if I push this rod, it does go down enough that I can get my keepers out. So as you can see, it just goes onto the rocker stud. Uh, I, it, normally this the tool will lock into place. However, um, because I have these the guides for my rockers, uh, or the push rod guides, uh, it, it's bottoming out and it won't let me go all the way. So I'll just have to do it like that and, and put the pull the keepers out. So um, I'll show you when the valve is off. Okay, so we got our springs and retainers off. This is the old spring right here. Uh, as you can see, it's a dual spring with a damper. Um, so now, to measure the install height, we're going to use this guy right here. Throw it on. Throw on your retainer. And of course, your locks. Keepers, however you want to call them. And then, what you do is you Get it on there so it stays. And then you twist this counterclockwise until yeah, until it squeezes together. There we go. So it looks like we're at about 1.964, uh, which is awfully high. Um, but that's our install height without any shims or anything like that on there. So I'll end up calling the uh, spring man manufacturer and letting them know what my what my measurements are, and then they can help recommend a spring for me. Um, yeah, there you go. Okay, just a final tip is if you have your springs off, this is a good time to change your uh, the valve seals. So measure your valve, which is mine is a three eighths. Um, also, your I see mine has been ground down here at the stem, so I can fit a half inch valve seal. So I'll pick up some new ones of those. Measure your the diameter of the stem, um, so you know what kind of locators that you can get. Um, also, you may want to measure your the outside diameter of your pocket. Uh, again, it just helps you determine what kind of locators you can get, how big the springs you need, etc., uh, etc. Et so do the measuring now. Change. Um, your valve seals while you can, and away you go. Thanks for watching.